Egypt is a huge country, at the piece of everything. There is almost nothing in this country that you cannot find. There are so many things to discover in the country. You need months or even years to fully experience Egypt. Egypt is truly a country with its historical riches. It's a geography famous for its streets, as well as for its streets, in fact. You will encounter countless street foods in almost every city in Egypt, especially in Cairo. The main lines of these dishes are mostly blended from the food culture of the Middle East and Arab cultures. In fact, many of the street foods you have eaten and tasted in America are equipped with different sauces. Moreover, these street markets are open 24 hours a day and have become an important sector in the country. Without further ado, in this video, I will present you examples of street food made on the streets of Egypt in this way. We will have a better understanding of the streets of Egypt and how these healing dishes are prepared. We will get ideas about the conditions under which they are prepared. Come with the meat. Let me take you to a familiar site. They offer something very similar to diner, which is one of our ancestral delicacies as street food. Don't be surprised when you see both chicken and meet Donner stalls in the streets of the center of Cairo, of course. They call it shurma. Chicken shawarma costs two dollars, of course. You should not forget that this is a restaurant. The taste of the meat is almost the same as in ours, but they mix garnishes such as tomatoes, onions, and greens directly into the meat and serve it that way. That is, they do not have to make it. Optional, as in America, you can have it wrapped in hamburger buns or lavash. If you want the doner kebab in portion form, if you want to sit and eat in the shop, they also make lavash style bread specially and serve it hot to you. In another shop in Cairo, there are also chicken doner views, but the chicken in this shop is different compared to the other one. The doner in this shop smells a little more of labor because they cook the chicken sideways over coal fire. The doner is horizontal. It reminds us of Los Angeles hamburger, of course, they don't make hamburger ass, special from chicken meat, that's a different matter. This guy sells his flattened chicken doner that he produces for one and a half dollars. If you do mind where the meat comes from, they also make meatless versions of these shawarmas. It includes potato chips, lettuce, tomatoes and pickles. Eggplant and cucumber are basic foods and they are decorated with sauces and spices. The price of these lavash sandwiches is only one dollar. France. Egyptians call this type of snack food falafel. There are different varieties of these falafel dishes. Come, let me take you to another falafel spot. Potatoes and eggplants are on a tray while you wait. The master fries his meatballs in oil with great care. These meatballs contain legumes, usually chickpeas and beans, which are rolled into bowls and fried in hot oil. Then they are placed in lavash with other garnishes and served. Moreover, there is no denying that these puff breads in Egypt look really delicious. The machines it comes from may not appeal to the eye, but the fluffiness of the breads is really pleasing to the eye. The breads go through several stages here, and manpower is needed at each stage. The dough is kneaded in the machine, then it is formed into balls and coated in flour. Then it is thinned and sent to the oven. It swells while baking in the oven and is sold, therefore, the definition of bread in Egypt is far from the tradition of loaf bread and is more like traditional village bread. For example, in this shop, bread similar to the bread made in the village is produced. The dough is prepared by the masters in the background and then it is placed in the tray and baked. In the oven, each bread costs seven American. Also, the horns are never silent if you are going to live in Egypt. You must accept this and make your ears insensitive to the sound of horns because in Egypt, the habit of honking has gone beyond just a warning sign, if you are not used to horns. There is a horn. In Egypt, even if you stay for a week, you will have a nervous breakdown. The Egyptian masters in another shop do not forget to put on a show when they see the camera. They have a dish they call Egyptian pizza, and they make and sell Egyptian pizza in this shop. This is a public market in the central streets of Cairo, also. They know Egypt, do not identify it only with beef and camel meat. Because this is a coastal country. Fish markets are very popular in Egypt, just like in Morocco, if you plan to stay there for a long time. And do not trust red meat. 
You can buy fresh crop tap fish from the markets for one to two dollars in the Mediterranean. Almost every type of fish in the world is available in Egyptian markets. If you don't want to deal with cooking fish, they can even fry fish on the grill and sell it in the markets. Of course, the cleanliness of the stalls in the markets cannot be compared to ours. Our markets are much cleaner and more orderly. In the Middle Eastern countries, public markets are more war-torn and messy. Butcher's meat is sold in great quantities. The fact that it hangs openly in the middle is the biggest indicator of this, of course. There are people who do not like cameras even in the markets. There are even people who sell rabbits in the markets. One of the most facts about the markets is that they are built on narrow streets. You may ask what's wrong with this, but they also allow vehicles to pass in these narrow streets. This means that the exhaust is on the food. It means the digestion of many healing gases because meat is openly sold right next to the road where gasoline vehicles pass. What is even more annoying is that while walking in the market, they honk their horns every second as if the road is theirs. You can get more or less ideas about the flow. You can see the deficiencies and you can immediately detect the flaws in the management context. Maybe it seems normal to them because they are used to the same type of scenes in life. But for an outsider there are scenes that seem extremely different, for example. This cow's head is tied to a hook and sold in public, or immediately just like every side street is full of garbage heaps. The ones most expected from these garbage heaps are usually cats. They clean the road by taking the awful throne on the ground in the market saying to their stomachs. On the other hand, right at the exit of the market, there is another street food, however. This one is literally a disaster because it is very unhealthy, frankly speaking. It is not a food produced here. It is not a food produced here. I would not taste it even if I paid money. The reason why I am speaking so assertively is related to the oil view here, which is full of healing. My guess is that this oil has not been changed for a long time. There are also sweet products among the Egyptian street delicacies, for example. This shop is a kind of street food. They sell patty and pastry and sugary products from eclairs decorated with bonbons. There are also snacks with cocoa and cream stuffed in cones. Or if you are looking for more classic sweet products, you can come across dozens of date varieties of different qualities. As with many products, the products are sold openly in sacks, also cotton candy. They have added a different atmosphere to the event. In the streets of Cairo, People appear in the evening selling a lot of cotton candy. They make decorations to increase the attractiveness of these cotton candies. For example, selling them as a flower bouquet. I have not seen a single person in Turkey who does this, frankly. Those who go beyond the ordinary and become entrepreneurs use even the simplest material they have. He knows how to market well. These young sellers in Egypt act enterprisingly and put effort into their work. This old man is one of the most striking figures of street food. In Cairo, he makes a kind of rice specific to Egypt and mixes this rice with camel and sells it to people on the street. Moreover, he prepares the food. There are also a lot of customers waiting for it to be prepared. They call it kapata sandwich in Egypt. The concept of a market in Egypt is not only surrounded by food, for example, if you do not want to pay high amounts for clothes or shoes in shopping malls, there are many clothing markets in Cairo that are exact copies of the original brands. You can buy them at very cheap prices in these markets. They are also on the roadside and there is no specific market order. There are shoes, shirts, boots, trousers, jackets, whatever you want. You can even find suitcases on the roadside. Since the average income of the people is not very high, these markets never lose their popularity in Egypt. They are held almost every day, and they are visited by thousands of people. Sellers in the markets give information about their products by speaking through megaphones. Instead of shouting to sell their products, these megaphone sounds are constantly heard in Egyptian markets. This is the general summary of the street markets and street food culture in Egypt. Although it is a busy country, there is no food shortage in the markets the purchasing power is high, even though it is not good. People are definitely not hungry and you can find food items that appeal to every budget. For better or worse, if you visit these markets as a tourist, 
you will not encounter any excessive prices for street food. But if you go to the souvenir streets, you may end up with more money than you should. Just pay attention to souvenir shops and taxis, by the way. To clarify the information in the previous video regarding visas, a visa is required for maroon passports. In Egypt, if you only have a green passport or diplomatic passport, you ain't. We can enter the country for up to 90 days, let's correct this. But you can only go to Cairo if you think it would be okay if you don't go. Burgundy passport holders can land in South Sinai Charnel airport without needing a visa and stay in Egypt for 15 days with a tourist visa. To do this, you need to have over $2,000 in cash in your pocket and have printouts of round-trip flight tickets and hotel reservation contributions. We have come to the end of our video. If you would like to see such street food videos about countries, you can give us an idea by liking the video. Goodbye.